I spoke about attempts to classify ragas and uh, I suggested that one broad classification that is very relevant in today's Carnatic music is that between traditional ragas with strong characters and newer creations whose uh, melodic character is quite indefined beyond the swaras, beyond the notes that comprise these ragas, there is nothing uh, really for a musician to take care of. And so to that extent they are far less challenging and far less fulfilling to perform or even listen to. Um, it is not to say that these new creations are not melo melodious or that they are uh, not pleasant to hear, listen to. They can be very melodious, they can um, even move a person, but in terms of the, uh, the demands on the musicianship, on the artistry of a, music, of a musician, these ragas uh, don't compare that well with traditional ragas. One way of classifying the wide range of ragas that we have would obviously be in terms of iswaras, the notes that occur in them. And there are two ways of doing this. One is in terms of the actual swaras that each raga takes. The, the, and that is the that is what the Mela Karta system, the Mela system of classification uses. We will see that later. But the more um, superficial way of looking at the swaras and using that as a classification tool is to see the number of swaras that each raga has. As I mentioned, there is a, a requirement of a minimum of five swaras in any raga. Exceptions apart, the exceptions are, are very, very few. And um, any raga for the vi for viability should have at least five swaras. So we have ragas with five swaras, we have ragas with six swaras, we have ragas with seven swaras. And there are technical terms for these. Ragas which is five swaras are called Audava ragas. Ragas with six swaras are called Shardava ragas. Ragas with seven, all the seven swaras are called Sampurna ragas. In the early lesson on raga and swara, I had demonstrated quite a few of these ragas. Mohanam, Hamsadvani, Hindolam, these are all examples of out of ragas, ragas that have only five swaras. Mohanam, for instance, is This is Mohanam. Hamsadvani is Sarigapani Sarigapani Sasani Pagari Sarigapani Sasani Pagari Hindolam is Sagamadhani Sasani Damagasa These are all out of ragas. We have shard of ragas also with six varas. Sri Ranjani. And then of course we have some Purna Ragas with all seven swaras. And then we have combination of these 
We have ragas which have five swaras in the aroha, six in the avroha, or seven in the avroha. We have, and those ragas would be called audava shadava or audava sampurna. We have ragas which have six in the aroha, seven in the avroha. We have very many of these combinations. We even have ragas like Saramati, which has seven swaras in the aroha and five in the avaroha. Sarigama padhani sa sanidama gasa. This is Saramati. Sarigama padhani sa There is a great composition by Tyagaraja in this raga. Sarigama Padhani Sa Sanidama Gasa So this was Saramati, a Sampurna Audavaraga. It takes seven in the Aroha and five Swaras in the Abroha. But we also have Ragas which are called Vakra. They have a zigzag kind of movement. Mm. Sagari ma sagari ma pani sa sani pa ma gari sa sari ga ma It doesn't go like that. Sagari ma gari ma pa ni pa pa ma ma ga gari sa ni sagari pa ma gari sa sagari ma so this a slight uh, twist in the tail so to say that gives a certain flavor to the raga and these are called vakra ragas and we have plenty of such vakra ragas in Carnatic music some very major ragas 
have vakra sancharas, vakra phrases. Mahiravi, mm, for instance, Mahiravi is a very major tanka. Now, without this vakratva, this crookedness, Sagi Sagariga Sagariga Mapadapa. There is no Mahiravi without that vakra phrase. You can say, Sariga Mapadapa. This is also occasionally we can sing it, but the the life of this raga is in Sagariga Mapadapa. Ananda Bhairavi, another raga, has the same phrase Sagari Gama Pama Gari Sa so many traditional ragas have this crookedness inbuilt in their movement, in their the way they move. And even, actually, even in ragas which are otherwise, which can categorize as Sampurna or Shadava or Audava, the phrases, and I'm talking of traditional ragas, the phrases, many of the important phrases have a crookedness. If you take Shankaraparanam for instance, Sari Gama Pada There are many phrases, very important phrases, which are essentially they involve jumping notes. If you take this uh, Swara sequence, which is actually part of a very famous composition. So there's a skip of pa. This completely vakra. Instead of that, this is straight. Samagari sani dani sari gama pa. The first part of this line of swaras showcases the vakra sancharas, the vakra phrases of Shankarabharanam. In fact, a very important phrase in Shankarabharanam which is captured in another great composition is just this is very evocative of Shankarabharanam. So, though we speak of uh, Aroha, Avroha, these are actually just pedagogical devices. And uh, they sh should not really uh, shackle a musician once he or she wants to engage with the raga creatively, artistically. In fact, performers are not all the time thinking of the Aroha Broham in their performing a raga. That would be very shackling, very restrictive. And ragas, in fact, as I said, the Aroha Broham these are all just ways of talking of the raga, of describing the raga, of, of even at the beginner's level, teaching the raga. When you teach a raga, you probably talk of the aroha aroha. Though, in fact, traditionally, a couple of generations ago, that was also not the case. Aroha aroha uh, has come into some importance only as a 
relatively recent phenomenon. This concept of aroha broha or ascent and descent was also not uh, part of musicological discussions until after the 18th century. It is a fairly new concept because earlier ragas were entirely understood according to the phrases and um, by the time of uh, the late 18th century, by after 18th century, the, the uh, attempts of musicologists to, to talk about um, scales and the number of possible scales that had gained a stronghold on the imagination of musicologists. And then ragas, uh, the scale that raga has that started uh, gaining more prominence in the uh, minds of musicians and musicologists.